What is up YouTube? My name is Blind Films and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 and in this video we are going to be doing an educational video on how to get gold wood. So there are two ways to get gold wood. There, I'll, I'll show you both of them. What we're first going to do, actually let's get, let's get this truck. Actually no, let's get this truck. So first off, you want to have a nice big truck to get all the wood. And then what you need, you need some money and then we're going to head over to Bob Shack. And Bob Shack, if you don't know, is across the bridge and does cost $100 to lower the bridge. And this in in this video I need to explain, we're going to be lowering the golden or the gold wood bridge or the swamp bridge to get to the swamp. And what do you mean what bridge? Is it this bridge? No, it's not this bridge. It's a natural bridge made of rock all the way up there by the volcano. I mean, at first glance, it looks like, oh, it's part of the mountains, but no. If you light a stick of dynamite and it goes boom, it goes down and forms a bridge. And I recorded this earlier before, but conveniently, family decided to come home at the time of the recording. And I lost connection because I was AFK for over 15 minutes. I love you, Mom. I still do. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're going to head over to Bob Shack. I'm going to try to get over in time, and I'm going to get at least four sticks of dynamite, because when I was doing the video earlier, I needed exactly four sticks of dynamite, which I luckily had, and we're just going to head over here. So, yeah, I need to fill this with all this stuff so I can't go silent. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Here we do Lumber Tech and and sometimes other games. But, I mean, I'm like one of the last Lumber Tech and channels here. I mean, there's still quite a few, like Code Primate and... Uh, a few others, but I mean, like, yeah, I'm still here. I've I've been here for several years. So this is where you get dynamite. It costs two hundred twenty dollars to buy one box of dynamite, and in each box comes one stick of dynamite, um, which is um plentiful. And you can't explode dy You cannot explode dynamite around uh, friends or other people in the game. So you have to be far away from them, or they have to have you whitelisted, and you have to whitelist them. I think that, or I don't know how it works, but anyways, we're going to wait for this to respawn, and it should come in any second now, and Halloween is coming to Lumber Tycoon 2, and if you do not know, this is going to be a mega Halloween this year, and this, uh, this is what I've gathered from my sources and all that fun stuff, um, it's not 100%, um, confirmed yet, but I, I think, I'm, I'm 90% sure this is going to be a an amazing Halloween this year in Lumber Tycoon 2. And, I mean, when I say amazing, it's going to be actually good. Because, I mean, not much really impresses me. But, I mean, most impressive update Lumber Tycoon 2 ever received um, connected to a holiday was actually Christmas. So, I mean, yeah, they have all the presents and all that. But I loved it when there was snow on the ground. I mean, everything was covered in snow. Except, the, I, th I don't think, the maybe they were. I don't know. But there was snow everywhere. Uh, covering up the grass and all that, which was pretty cool. Then also two years ago, there was a Halloween update that was pretty cool. I mean, none of the trees had leaves. Everything was monochrome, also known as black and white, and it was pretty fun. So this year, lo possibly lots of new stuff. I speculate lots of new stuff is going to be added for my sources. And uh, on top of that, uh, yeah, so I'll have a video going out tomorrow. Um... And I did ask for permission from the developer if I was allowed to publish uh, these types of videos. So those who were concerned, um, he, he said it was all right. He said it was all right, the guy up there. So anyways, so what I'll do each weekend, we'll, I'll like share with you a possible item that could be coming in an update. And I'm not doing all of them in one video because I want to just, because um, I don't want to like share with everything too early. So I just figured that one a week we, one each weekend would be good, so stay tuned for uh, for tomorrow and possibly on Sunday, I'm not 100% sure. But I need to continue with this tutorial, so we're going to go up the volcano, just go the path I'm going. You want to go all the way to the top, and then you have to learn how to not die in the volcano. So, if you're in a laggy server, you won't. it's easier to get through the volcano, but I'm in a private server, just so everything goes smoothly and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead, head into the volcano, and what you want to do is not fall off the edge, not get hit by rocks, but stay close to the edge... And far away from the middle lanes or the corners. See, here come the boulders. They are super fast and they will kill you. Uh, so what we're going to do, wait for a little break, take our turn. Oh, that was too close for comfort. But that's how it is in Lumber Tango. Do when you're heading up a volcano, you always have a chance of dying. And as you go up the volcano, you have to make it quick or you will die because you do lose health. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drive off a cliff. And yes, that's how you get down here. That's one of the ways. No. Are those my beans? Oh no, that's dynamite. Okay. I mean, that's alright. 
So what we're gonna do now? No, don't. This call. No, I can't. I can't fall off this. If I fall off this edge, this whole video is just not worth it. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good, guys. So we have three sixty nine right now. I mean, I can actually go ahead and grab that one. I don't know why I brought those beans with me. I keep meaning to drop them off at my base, but I mean, I, I'm forgetting. I've been forgetting. Oh, here are the beans. Hello. Okay. So I'm. I'm Oh, I forgot I was going to leave those down there. Uh, yeah, let's just take it with us, because why not? So now what we can do is we're going to hop over here, just throw this down, then we're going to get the other stick of dynamite, which is right over here. So we can squeeze through here. You have to go into first person and then, like, squeeze through. And then this is the rock that you will explode. And when you explode it, it will release a force that will make it slide down here, and most likely it will land up right here, or land... Like right here, and it'll form a bridge. Sometimes, though, it does have a chance of going over there or not going all the way down. So that's why we have four sticks of dynamite, just for assurance that it will be, um, like, it will work. So we're going to head back behind the rock. And I don't know how I'm supposed to squeeze through here with my stick of dynamite. But, I mean, I, I somehow did it last time, I think. Here we go. Did I seriously move this rock? <gasps> I can move a rock! I think I moved this rock, guys. I'm, I'm really strong. So, what? Oh, um, <laughs> there's my car up there. I mean, last time a car came all the way down here, which was great. But I mean, yeah. And then you always can always hop around here and then hop down if you want to get around there as well. So, what we're gonna do our first stick of dynamite. We're gonna explode one at a time because earlier I almost died because one stick of dynamite exploded and then the little time delay sent the other one flying out my face and exploded. And I had like 10% health left. Boom! Explode. Nothing. This is a bit of a pain. So let's try this piece now. Back up. Ooh. See, the rock moved. That's good. I fear, though, we're not... This is not enough uh, dynamite, though. Because I'm. I, that first stick didn't really do anything. So let's head back here, far away from the dynamite. There we go. Maybe one more. We have one stick of dynamite, guys. We can do it. Wait, let's see if I can push it. Okay, no, I can't. Okay. Please work. Just for the ease of this video. I don't want to go back to Bob Shack. Work. Yes! We did it, guys. And now the rock is sliding down. And it formed a perfect bridge. That's what we're all about, guys. So now we're going to head down to the bridge. I'm going to reset. And since we're in a private server, we don't have to worry about people taking our stuff. Not that they can, but I mean, it's a possibility. And this will form a nice bridge that we can cross uh, cross with our cars. And there is another way to get to Goldwood, but you can't get your car that way. This is the only way you can get to Goldwood and the swamp. And there's also another tree there. It's like zombie wood or something. But we're going to pop this down here. There we go. I'm going to reset. Make sure you, like, just reset in the corner and whatnot. And I do have a basic axe, but I mean, I mean, not a basic axe, but it's the silver hatchet. Which is pretty basic, but I mean, yeah. And you won't have to go up the volcano this time, because you can just... Ooh, black car, that's fancy. All you have to do is go up to the volcano, but instead of going through the entrance, just where usually there's nothing, you just drive on the bridge. It's as simple as that. And the reason I'm not doing any trimming is just so it's easy to follow. And yes, I'm capable of editing all of my videos, but I choose not to just for you guys. And so I could save myself some time because I have school and whatnot. But anyways, we're going to head up this way. We're going to take a right, same route, stay on the road. And then we're going to drive onto the rock bridge. This is going to be super fun. And this is something not everyone knows about. I mean, quite a few um, people in number taking do, do know about this, but I mean... Not many people do. We managed to do this in only 10 minutes. Get this bridge down. So if you're making a bunch of runs to this wood place or to the swamp and you need gold wood or something like that, I would suggest just lowering the bridge because then you take as many trips as you want at ease. So let's try not to get stuck. We're going to drive here. I'm going to drive here. I have my beans in my car. And now we're going to follow this little road. So if you ever wondered what this road was, it's I mean, it goes straight to the swamp. And I have hardly ever been on this road. I mean... Every time I've come across here, I mean, ah, uh, it's just nice. And then there's no road here, so what you want to do, you want to turn around. Not all the way, though. And then you see all this little road here. You might have not noticed this, but I mean, this is the little road here. And we'll just hop down here. And there's where we went up earlier. And then we're going to go around this corner. Wait, no. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, we go around this corner, everyone. 
And there's my base down there. So this is actually close by. And people have actually managed to build um, bridges that reach out. I mean, using doors. I don't know how they do it. But, I mean, it works. And they get all the way across here. So, I mean, uh, Code Prime 8 showed that to me on his base. And it is super cool. And here we are, guys, at the swamp. That's a tree. Oh! <gasps> Did they... Did they change the grass? Hold up, guys. Hold on. Uh, let me take a snip. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I found out it did not change color. I mean, I, I just don't remember it being like this. And one other cool thing I want to show you is if you head to the middle and you see this little rock here, this used to be explode, or you used to be able to light dynamite and the rock would go blown, or would be blown away. But inside, I mean, now it's anchored, but inside you can see a, a little pink box. And this leads down to the river tunnel. There's actually like a little crack in the ground too, I noticed. I'm going to see if I can see it here really quickly. I can't. I don't know. Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about the trees here. So we're going to chop this one down first. This one has leaves. The other ones do, uh, don't. And this is the green wood. Also, I think it's called zombie wood. I'm not, I'm not sure the whole name. But this is green wood right here. And then the trees with no leaves most of the time. This is gold wood. And this sells for a lot. I don't know if it's as much as the uh, lava wood at the top of the volcano sells for. But it is decent wood to have because it's golden. I mean... What's not good about gold wood? And this doesn't glow or anything, but I mean, it's it's a pretty nice wood um, if you're building something fancy. But, I mean, the reason I'm up here is to get green wood, so we're going to get a little uh, little gold wood, not too much. But, I mean, I just want to get a little piece so I can sawmill it for you. And then, uh, let's just chop this right here. Right here, there we go. So a little piece of wood, that's all we need. And I'm going to fill up my car with some uh, green wood, and then we'll be back, and then we'll head back to our base, and I'll show you how. All right, everyone, we have packed up all our stuff, and I have a bunch of green wood or zombie wood, and then we have our little can of beans, and then we have our little sliver of gold wood. And now how to get back, we just go the same way we came. We're going to head up here through the river, out the river. And, yeah, that's going to be... Ooh, a tree in the wall. Let's check that out. <laughs> oh, there's a whole swamp in the walls. Oh, my gosh. Huh, okay, our car's slowly ro rolling away. So we're going we're gonna to take care of this. Let's just get out. And what you could do, you could just drive your truck off the cliff back to your base if you want to go quickly. But I prefer a more safe method. And that is just going the direct um, opposite way we came. And though our base is just down there, I don't want to risk spilling all the wood. And it's just easier when it's organized. And I'm not going to trim this out either. So we're just going to go ahead and head up here. And the same way we came. And it's just these trees here that are getting in the way a bit. But, I mean, you can easily avoid that. Ooh, we hit the wall. Easily avoid them. We're going to turn off our light because it's not really needed, our, our headlights. And if you want to turn your headlights on, it took me a while to figure out. But if you press the letter L or the key L on your keyboard, it turns the lights on. I don't know for Xbox or any of that stuff. Ah, hold on. I'm back. You're so excited that I'm back, of course. So we're going to try not get our wheels stuck in there. And, I mean, it was just more family stuff. But, I mean, everything's good. Um, for the most part, <laughs> I can't really disclose anything else, but I mean, it's, it's good. So we're just going to head back to our base with our beans, our one little piece of gold wood, and our green wood. <sighs> I'm out of breath, because I mean, running up and down stairs <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, the reason I got gold wood, or green wood, um, is because I'm building a haunted house. Ooh, spooky. So I'm, I'm, oh wait, uh, okay, yeah. I don't think I talked about it, but I think I want to do a building contest to see who can build the best haunted house in Lumber Tycoon 2 before Halloween. So, I mean, mine's pretty... <laughs> voice crack. Mine's pretty plain and simple. I mean, ah, I spilt the wood. Let's just pop it back in here. And I think for the most part, all this will sawmill itself. I'm going to move my sawmill, though, because, I mean, it's a bit high up and inconvenient. But we're going to go ahead and go right here. There we go. And I'm going to place this down. You would never guess that. So we're going to go ahead and place that there. And we're going to get our Sawmax O2. And yes, I could get a better one, but I don't really want to right now. And we're just going to rotate this and place it right here. There we go. And then 
Uh, my base is already a bit of a mess. If you ever see me in game when you ha and I have this little base loaded, don't give me money or presents because I want to keep it clean. So I mean, I have I have this stuff which I'm very grateful for, but I mean, I mean, I'm trying to keep this clean. So I'll just I'll, I I can like hide it in the wall or something, and I'll like, or like I'll put it on display because I mean the house will need a little decoration. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I have this little attached, and we're gonna get this car out of here. Just drive off with it. There we go. And we're going to back my upside down sawmill up there. looks great. So we're going to back this up to the sawmill. There we go. Lower this. And let's see if it's sawmills. Because, I mean, sometimes it just goes through and doesn't sawmill at all. But I think it is. That is great. So let's make sure correct dimensions. 1.2 by 1.2. Because that's what all my blueprints fill by. Because I do have the power to build these. And that's why I have such small pieces of wood. It's because when I chop them to tiny cubes, it fills the huge blueprint. And that does cost you $10 million and $9,000 to purchase. But, I mean, it's pretty expensive. Don't ask me for all $10 million in my game. People have done that before. Quite a few, actually. So, I'm, I'm not going to give you $10 million. That wood didn't go. Oh, it went through. Okay. So, I mean, it's just going to push itself along. Hopefully, it won't get stuck. But, I mean, it says blockage up there on the little top of the sawmill. And I feel like blockage is like a little under underrated um, little feature on the sawmill. So we're going to go ahead and walk into the wood, push it a little. We can use this little piece to rake it all up. So we're going to go like, boom. There we go. That worked better than I expected. <laughs> and then, so just clear all that out of the way. And a better sawmill setup would actually um, help with that as well. I mean, I'm... I'm bunny, I don't really have sawmill set up because I'm always moving my sawmill around my base. So, I mean, yeah, and probably I'm going to build like a, a little pumpkin patch here or something. Or another little house. I mean, maybe I could build like a little neighborhood on the slot. I mean, just like little holiday themed houses would be fun. But I mean, I've, I've been building this for only two days and it's actually coming quite well along. I mean, I've had help from various people, which I'm super, or various users, uh, which I'm super grateful for. So thank you if, you, uh, if you've helped me. And now we have our little can of beans left. We're just going to go ahead and pop that in the corner. I'm saving that just for uh, future use if I ever need it. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to get this wood pushed away. There we go. Push away. Push away. And I want I need to put this somewhere so it doesn't glitch out and, and get like stuck in the floor or something inconvenient like that. And this wood's stuck right here. It's still sawmilling, but it's at a weird angle. There we go. Okay, guys. And now what we're going to... See, this is what happens... Oh. Why is this? I don't know why it's so tiny. There we go. Let's pop up there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sawmill our little piece of gold wood. And this will sell for a lot. So we're going to pop it in there. Here it comes out. It looks gold. Look at that compared to the other green wood. So that's the difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, okay, I just went back into the saw. I'm not going to sell. But guys, I hope you have, um, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you'd like to see my haunted house in a video series, let me know. Other than that, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.